y'all doing? This is MJT Reviews, bringing you the best of market reviews. How are y'all keeping? <laughs> I'm back again, guys. Um, doing what I love best, uh, me modelling. Um, so, welcome, guys. This is vlog number 170. And if you're new to my channel, guys, welcome aboard. Um, it's only going to get better from here. Um, so, today's video, I'd like to give some shout outs. Um, so, first of all, I'd like to give some shout outs to P40F20 welcome thank you for subscribing to my channel um, Alex Modlin welcome again dude um, thank you for subscribing um, Red Panda 8732 thank you very much for subscribing um, we've got Henro Conja thank you very much I hope I spoke your name uh, correctly if I haven't I do apologise uh, we've got Far Farron Adams thank you very much for subscribing and last but not least, guys, I would love to give a shout out to Taylor's World. Um, Taylor's World is my uncle, Alan. Um, and, you know, guys, I really want to give a personal shout out because, you know, he's done a lot for me um, over the years. And, um, you know, I wouldn't be back online if it wasn't for him uh, topping me phone up. So, Alan, I'm really, really thankful that you did that because I really did need it. And, you know, guys... You know, go to his channel, subscribe to him. He is absolutely like me, a hundred percent. We're gonna be trying to do some more videos, guys, on his channel um, because he is is a little bit more funny than me. Because um, when I'm doing my models, guys, I like to take it the serious route and do a proper review for you. But the thing is, on Alan's side, he likes to do the funny things, and you know, so basically, I just do the funny stuff on my Uncle Alan's side so but anyway enough of that um, go and subscribe to him guys tell him that I sent you there and um, you know thank you very much Alan for what you do um, you know so get that all out the way thank you for joining guys and also shout out to my young'uns uh, if I've got any young followers um, that have subscribed to my channel if you're all into modelling guys I welcome you all aboard um, if there's anything that I can help you with then you know, I'm always there to help you out with. I've also got other modellers as well, like Motty's Models, uh, Flory's Models, Jack's Models. And we're all like a modelling group, you know, like a circle. Um, we can all help you out um, with anything. Um, so if you, you're struggling or you need some help, just hit me up um, and I'll get back to you. So welcome aboard, guys. Um, and last but not least, I've got some kit builds. Um... On the B-52 guys, it's on hold at the moment because um, I need to sort some things out for it. It's not fully done yet. It needs a new black repaint done because there's some marks that I can't get rid of and I need to eliminate that problem. So I'm going to get to that. Um, there's some decaling that I need to put on there and I'm going to varnish it up and uh, get that um, out the way. So it's on hold at the moment. I am sorry guys, but it will be back soon. Um, however, we've got the Sea King in progress, um, that's still going ahead, and we've got this globe mast right at the back, I, I am doing that soon guys, in about maybe a week or so, I'm definitely doing that, and I'd like to welcome my new kit that I'm starting guys, which I'm going to show you right now, so this is my new kit that I'm starting, um, I wanted to do this for a long time now, and you know it just caught my eye when I've got it from the modeling shop and I've just put it off because I've just had so much things to do you know I lead a very busy life guys and um, you know but I'm I'm trying my best to get each and every video put out I, I'm going to be putting out more content more videos and um, so welcome aboard guys like I said um, anyway I seen this beauty and I just thought you know what, I'm gonna get it done today so why not this is the 148 scale submarine Walrus Mark One. Um, what I know of this aircraft is, I believe that um, they used to fly it off um, battleships. I believe it was flown off King George V. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I, I, I presume so. Um, but it's got a lot of information down here as well. It says it was an amphibious flying boat, and um, very well used in the Second World War. Um, I can tell you the length of it, it's 238mm and the width is 292mm 
and it's got 157 pieces wow uh, that's quite a, that's quite a lot I'm actually proud of that um, and you've definitely got three squadrons right here so you've got the number 276 squadron flown by the Royal Air Force Harold Beer, Devon, England, 1944. You have the Walrus Mark I, number 700 Naval Squadron, HMS Sheffield. There we go, HMS Sheffield, the battleship, 1941. And then we've got number 5 CF Royal Australian Air Force and Australia New Guinea, early 1943. So we have an Australian version as well, guys. So it's not bad. Um, this does have free flying hours. And these are going to be sent out um, to a very special person who I said I was going to send those out. It's by Ashley Sparrowhawk. I hope you're available, mate, because um, I'm going to be sending those out to you like I promised. Um, the, I've just had so much to do, you know, so I do apologise for that, my friend. They'll be, definitely be getting sent out to you. Um, if I do get any more airfix kit, guys, just give me a shout up and... You know, just say I'm interested in the flying hours because I don't collect these. I just build the kits, guys, and it's you know I don't want to waste them. Somebody else may as well have them, you know. Um, so just hit me up and just say I'm interested, or you know, and it could be you that gets them. So anyway, this is what I'm starting. So I'm gonna just have a little look at the kit right now. Um, let's put that at the bottom. This uh, desk of mine is gonna get altered soon, guys. Um, um, you won't be seeing this model here. I'm going to move all my models. I'm going to be putting things around here, more decorative and stuff. I'm going to get a cutting mat, and this light won't be here. I'm putting that in my bedroom, and I'm going to get another light, which is a little bit bigger and a little bit brighter. So, but uh, anyway, this is the kit, guys. So you do get quite a lot. Um, what I don't like about what they're doing right now with the airfix, especially with the airfix stuff, guys, is they're putting everything in one bag. And you know, for a pro well, I'm not a professional, I, I won't say that, but I've been in for a long time, and I can talk for other modelers when I say this that you know, maybe they should separate the bags and put each part, each sprue in separately because when you put it all in as one like this, you're scratching all them like the plastic up you know and it's very unprofessional and you know it can scratch all parts up like this and it's so hard to eliminate and it can just damage the model and it can even damage the plastic as well so I'll give a shout out to Airfix uh, just maybe reconsider it Airfix and put it in spare bags like in different bags you know <laughs> It'll be a lot more better because when you put it all in one bag, it's just not good. Not good at all. So this is the one that I am actually doing, guys. Um, so I'm going to just pop that down there at the moment. And I'm going to get this out of the way. Sorry if it's in your way, like, guys, but it's, it's all, like, organising and sorting everything out. So you're greeted with this very nice-looking manual. Um, it's quite a thick book as well, guys. It's... Not bad in any sort of way. Um, they don't have the front picture like Ravel do, but that's no problem, I guess. Um, and what I like about these is it's all colourful. You don't see Ravel having like these red parts in, which is um, indications of where things go, I presume. Um, which is very handy. Uh, I really do like that. But this kit, guys, it offers so much potential. Um, this is going to take me quite a long time to do. Um, that's why... I chose this kit specifically. Um, it's got a load of parts in. <laughs> I was stunned when I seen how much interior this kit has to provide. I was like, "Whoa, that's quite a lot of interior." <laughs> I, um, if there's any follow modelers out there, can agree with me on that one. I mean, just look at that, guys. You know, it's... what I find a shame about it, guys, is the fact that you know. They're, they're offering so much interior and when you're doing the interior it's just a shame that you have to close it up because who's going to see the interior on the inside once it's all closed up it's a little bit of a bad move but uh, you know it's a little bit of a, I just think it's a, a bit of a shame really um, because I really want to see the interior I mean look at that you've got an option there 
to have like a rope so you've got like rope here and you can put some rope out which is really really cool so because obviously it's like a canoe isn't it so and there's another picture of the rope there so it's really really cool I, I just can't believe how much detail and precision that's gone into where uh, doing this kit I mean it's absolutely amazing look at that I mean you've got engine detail as well I love that I absolutely love that just look at that guys <laughs> wow wow I was absolutely amazed when I seen this kit absolutely and I still am guys I still am um, so these are the decals not bad at all guys not bad at all I, I really like them I really do like them um, and obviously you get these two awesome sheets so if I just put that there you get the number 700 like I said the Sheffield one HMS Sheffield and the one that I'm doing is the Royal Air Force as always <laughs> that's just me for you um, so I'm going for 276 Squadron at Devon England so that's the one that I'm going to be going for and it also has the tennis sofa it also has the Australian version as well which is quite handy if you want to do it Australian and in the back there we do have the rigging so if you want to rig it up and put the rigging around like I am that's the way how we to uh, do that so yeah I'm putting the rigging on guys so that's going to take me quite a bit of time as well so this is going to be such a good model um, it kind of reminds me of the Stranraer um, or the Stranraer because um, I have built that as well um, which is by Ravel um, and that's a really cool option as well you get to fold the wings <laughs> it's really really good so you can either have it option one or option two so I think I'm gonna go with option one because I like I like to see it in its full potential so yeah guys um, looking forward to building this uh, walrus um, so I'm gonna be starting that soon and, uh, this is the kit. Um, I have shown the kit before, guys. If you look on some of my older stuff, um, if you go through the videos, you will see a video of this uh, awesome walrus uh, video. So you might want to go and check that one out, guys. And uh, yep, we're also building this uh, Western Sea King as well, guys, which is another really awesome kit. Um, this is where I am so far. Um, so I painted inside of here. Um, and I'm going to give that another coat in and it's going to be the exact same for that part as well and then I'm going to be doing all the interior now this has got some really nice interior on this one so I'm going to take the extra time and the extra detail to get that done as well so I'd like to thank you all for watching um, this video guys um, and following me and just basically liking my videos you know because it really does mean a lot to me guys it really really does you know anybody that goes out with their time to watch my videos you know it's just fantastic guys absolute and I'm gonna try and get the most um, of these videos out to you guys so I'll see you all in the next one so thank you all very much for subscribing like share and subscribe as always and I will see you all in the next one guys thanks for watching bye now